Hi everyone, we're back here again to show you how to change the material of a wall. So let's begin with drawing a wall. Make sure you're always in the first level, first floor. So let's pick the type of wall. If you just go to the structure, you can choose the type of wall that you want. Um, I'm going with the masonry and gypsum board on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and draw that. And as you can see, there's our wall. Um, you can do it on this end, but I like to see it in 3D to see how this wall is going to end up and what the material is going to look like. So right now we have EFIS material, but we want to change it. So if we go to the settings of this wall, it kind of helps us to change the material. So if we press Control T, it brings up the menu, which um, shows shows us what this wall has um, and its structure. So if we want to override the surface that it um, it has currently, we can just um, go ahead and press on the first row right here. Where it says override surface, first one. And then if we just click on the little arrow, it brings our materials menu right here. So let's say we want stone and we want limestone. There you go. And so the outside of this is going to turn into limestone. So the inside is going to stay gypsum board, the outside is going to change. Uh, to a limestone surface. We'll just go ahead and press OK. So if we escape, we can see how this material has changed to the look of a limestone. Uh, we can change it again to... So want to make sure you you always click on the wall you press control T which brings you back to this menu well, it's kind of a shortcut and let's say we want a metal vertical cladding and we press OK and there you go okay these are materials that I have personally um, chosen so if you don't like the materials that you see um, that the library has, you can go online and look for seamless stone. Uh, if you're looking for a red brick, go and write on the engine um, red brick seamless. And once you go to Google, um, go to images and it'll show you a bunch. You pick whichever one you like um, and make sure that it doesn't have extra words and that it's cut correctly so that once you insert it into the wall or into the material that it is repeated in a way where it looks like the actual material. So a way to do that is once you've picked that image that you want of that certain material once you click on the wall and we're going back to our options right here we have many ways this is what we can change our wall I'm going to go into our surfaces and it opens the menu for the surface so I currently have the vertical cladding open and I can change this little picture right here right at the bottom this can this is the original what I chose and what I inserted but you can insert it to anything you can make a new material and you always want to do that because once you change the material for an existing material it's gonna stay that way you can't go back unless you go back to the library and find the exact image so I would encourage you to press new material rename it and you want to do it as a duplicate so that you can stay with with the um, existent uh, settings for this material, if it's metal and 
and it's preset to look a certain way and it's shine and everything, you just want to duplicate it. Let's say if you want to do glass, um, you want to duplicate the settings of the glass. And so you always want to press duplicate if you're good with that. You can change what type of material you want to do it and what um, settings you want to keep it at. So that's another option. But make sure you always rename it to what the material is. Um, not just material one. Make sure that you name it correctly so that you can uh, correctly go back and uh, select it when you need to. That way you don't have to constantly open and make sure you have the right one. Um, once you are set, you press OK and it's going to open a new one. So I'm just going to briefly show you what I did. So once you have that new material, you're going to go ahead and press the search button and it's going to open another menu. So these are ones that I have already inserted in there, but if you go to the library, it, it shows which ones they already have in there, and you can just click and change that. But if you have your personal one, you can make sure you save it um, in a file that you already know, and then you can access it again. So I'm going to press Add. Once you press Add, you can search uh, these are all my materials. You can just search that material, double click on it on that picture, and it's going to insert it in. Once you press OK, it's going to insert it into your whole um, surface um, settings. You can select how you want the, uh, the copy to duplicate, whether you want it all straight next to each other, um, the mortaring method, you want, um, there's other different methods that you can do that, and again, you can change uh, the reflection on it, you can change if you want it more translucent, so you can do all that here. Once you're completely set, you just press OK, and then the material just be, will just transfer for you. So, I hope that that helps if you're never satisfied with the material that the library has, there's another way that you can just search for your own material and insert it and make sure that the building has that look that you're going for. So good luck!